is our guest for the next 25 minutes. She's the founder of the Eagle Forum, eagleforum.org. She is undoubtedly the greatest libertarian, constitutionalist, conservative uh, woman living. And if you want to know where the Tea Party that we see today came from, i.e. real conservatives, not John Boehner type uh, rhinos, it came from Barry Goldwater and Phyllis Schlafly. I mean, she predates Ron Paul as a national figure by about 25, 30 years. And she is, of course, a constitutional lawyer as well. A true example of a powerful, intelligent woman defending our republic, strengthening our families. I mean, I don't like to get up here and grovel to our guest, but uh, as I get older, I really begin to realize how amazing people are. People I've already appreciated, but the fact that we should appreciate them even more. I mean, she's well-to-do, successful woman. She's a uh, you know, grandmother, you name it. She doesn't need since she's been fighting for freedom since she was 20 years old uh, to you know be coming on the show or doing scores of interviews every week. But she does, just like Charlton Heston did before he died, because she cares about freedom so much. So she's a modern hero. She deserves to be a Time Magazine Person of the Year, not eugenicist, globalist, pro-death Margaret Sanger. So she's a true uh, icon, uh, eagleforum.org. I won't go over all the work she's done, the best-selling book she's written, but she joins us now to give us her state of the world breakdown, the open borders, the TPP, Hillary's plan to get uh, in, saying if you're not for her, you're not for women, you know, vote for the grandma, truly sickening, when all they've done is disempower women, look at the numbers, uh, and she's got a detailed report uh, that was uh, out in World Net Daily last week, Hillary's plans to stuff the ballot box. So uh, Phyllis Schlafly joins us. Thank you so much for coming on. Hi, Alex. Go, always good to join you. It's great to have for, you. Thanks for all those kind words you said about me. Well, it's all true, so it's no brag, just fact. What do you want to tackle first? Uh, well, the hottest thing in Washington now is this trade deal. And uh, a lot of people are misled about it, but it's, I think it's about the worst piece of legislation that I've ever seen because it gives away... So much of our sovereignty, and we're very proud that we are a sovereign, independent nation that's built a land of freedom and prosperity. And the idea that Congress should give away some of its sovereignty to a bunch of uh, globalist busybodies is just outrageous. And it was all negotiated in a practically in a closet in a little room with Obama and a few foreigners. And uh, we know what a lousy negotiator he is. And uh, we got the short side of the stick. Yeah, I mean, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, there would be probably indictments happening. This would be called treason, trying to secretly sign us over to foreign corporate boards. Now, uh, people like Ryan and Boehner and others parade around promoting it like it's a good thing. I'm afraid there's money involved. I can't uh, prove it, but, uh, you know, when things are happening that make no sense, it's probably a case of uh, some money changing hand. But in any event, uh, what they're doing is very bad, and the one who's really been speaking out and telling the truth about it is Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions. And he is a real patriot, and uh, uh, you ought to read everything that he writes on this, because he is showing that this thing called free trade, uh, which has to have, uh, I think, four different votes in order to you know, lock it in, uh, is just a, a, a giveaway of our sovereignty. It's giving these global busybodies control over our trade, uh, our immigration, uh, every, everything you can think of, and it allows them to change it after they finish it. In other words, the Congress passes it. Uh, these uh, globalist busybodies can change it because they call it a living document. And you remember when some of these off-the-wall uh, Supreme Court justices talked about a living constitution. That was just a code word uh, for saying that they could uh, rewrite it according to their own uh, up-to-date uh, uh, ideas and personal preferences. And uh, we think if uh, Congress passes a law... Uh, it ought to be obeyed unless it's re revoked or reversed. 
And uh, the Constitution is the supreme law of our land. And we don't want these global busybodies controlling our trade, our commerce, our immigration, and, and then bringing other uh, countries like China into the deal. Phyllis Schlafly, EagleForum.org, couldn't be a more uh, paleoconservative organization out there uh, just defending the basic ideas that founded this country. We see an upside-down world push where they act like we're the traitors because we don't want a secret treaty. But WikiLeaks has leaked three sections, as you know, and Senator Sessions has, has seen even more. And it, it, it gets rid of the borders. It gives the president dictatorial power across the board. It censors the Internet and free speech. It puts foreign boards over our businesses. I mean, I can't believe Congress, as corrupt as they are, would even consider signing on. But he, here's my next question. There's always got to be a bottom. And was last Friday the bottom, or, or at least the inklings of a bottom, where they go so far that even the establishment, part of the establishment can't go along with it? Because there's got to be some end to the arrogance, some end to the craziness. Uh, you know, Federal court striking down Obama, just opening the borders up. He's still doing it, but at least courts have said he can't. I mean, there seems to be just a uh, one of the biggest constitutional crises we've ever seen, not just in our lifetimes, but in the 240-year history of this nation. I agree with you. I agree with all of that. And it's so shocking. You, you, it's just so awesome. You can hardly believe what they are doing. And uh, it's cons they're conspired in by both Republicans and Democrats, uh, some of each kind are to blame because they're ba uh, ballyhooed by these, uh, uh, these uh a lobbyist for the big companies who really want our immigration uh, increased so they get the cheap labor. I think that's what's at the bottom of a lot of it. And then the people who've been trying to give us globalists. You know, I spent a year of my life fighting uh, uh, one of the George Bushes, I get him mixed up, who wanted to put us in a North American union. We don't want to be in a union with Mexico and Canada. Uh, we didn't like that idea, and we did beat him on that. But now they're coming back in this bill that's before them right now. And uh, in effect, as, to, as Senator uh, Sessions said, it really puts us in some kind of a European Union. So they didn't dictate our laws. You know, they just decided, uh, these global busybodies, just a few weeks ago, that we have to repeal our cool law. And our cool law is the, stands for country of origin. And I'd like to know where our meat is coming from before I buy it. And so would the American people. But the Congress has now said, oh, yes, this, these uh, global busybodies have said we have to repeal it. So we, so we, so we repeal it. You can, you can hardly believe they're doing this kind of thing. Phyllis Shafley's our guest. Uh, we're also on television, not just radio. We're showing footage. There's hundreds of these videos uh, in France at the tunnel, at the ferries and the tunnel, where police basically on both sides are undermanned and ordered, it's come out, to stand down and let them uh, get on the buses, get on the uh, hijacked vehicles, and then they just basically let them through. When the police try to stop them, it becomes a human rights abuse claim, uh, and they're, quote, allowed to migrate. Africa's collapsing. The Middle East is collapsing. Boats are sinking every week coming across to Italy, uh, and the so-called left wants to allow this. Do they understand that there's six plus billion people that want to come into the West, and then once they're given welfare, the socialists will have checkmate on political groups that'll vote to do whatever they want? Well, I hope you've read uh, Ann Coulter's book, Adios America, because she really tells it like it is, and how it will absolutely change America. And uh, these people coming in, uh, you know, I'm glad to welcome people who want to be American, who want to speak English who want to obey our laws and our Constitution. But these people coming in don't want to be American. They want to, they want to change us and make us like their country. And there's no other country like America. I agree, but it's beyond that. The third world is unsustainable. It's collapsing. The birth rates are astronomical, like five children. The left is bringing people here and then teaching them to hate the country in a political takeover. Don't they get that we're collapsing into... Uh, Blade Runner meets uh, Road Warrior. I mean, this is a really dangerous scenario right now. We're already teetering 
worldwide on top of debts that are unsustainable. You can see it building towards a crescendo. Well, the people who are coming in don't understand that because uh, they don't understand uh, uh, how we're in a precarious position, but they think anything in America is better, and they it probably is better than what they have, even even with all of our debt. Uh, but uh, we we know we're losing our strength, our prosperity, our freedom, all that sort of thing, and uh, we have the best country in the world, and and we shouldn't we. Sh we shouldn't give it away. And if we let all these people in who don't believe in America, it's going to be a different world. And I think a lot of the Democrats are doing it because they want the votes. They think these people coming, coming in don't know anything about limited government. They think the government should be their provider. And uh, so they'll vote Democratic. And uh, the uh, it's, it's, a, it's a tremendous change. You know, when Obama went into office... He said he wanted to fundamentally change uh, America, and he's been doing it, and somehow uh, the congressmen are letting him get by with it. Phyllis Schlafly, EagleForum.org, is our guest. Final segment with her. I want to get into her investigative report, Hillary's plan to stop the ballot box. I mean, what a nightmare. Hillary and Jeb, I mean, really? Is this a nightmare? I mean, can I wake up from this? Phyllis Schlafly is our guest founder of eagleforum.org, best-selling author, syndicated columnist. She was there at the beginning with Barry Goldwater of the folks that said the Republican Party are not a bunch of New World Order globalists that are going to join with the Democrats, turning our country into a socialist nightmare. And if it wasn't for her and others, we'd already be completely under the system. It's a big victory. The TPP got shot down last week. They're trying to ram it through again this week, but resistance is mounting. But the problem is the illegal waves are used to be the political voting block. And Phyllis has written a detailed article, Hillary's Plan to Stuff the Ballot Box at WND.com. Uh, Phyllis, please spend some time breaking this down for folks. Well, yes, of course. My book was called A Choice, Not an Echo. And that's kind of gone into the English language. When When we... Uh, pick our nominees for president. We want a choice. We don't want an echo of the bunch of losers that the kingmakers have been giving us lately. And I, I want to take a minute to talk about the the left manipulation of words. You know, I I think the gays have gotten what they've gotten in our judiciary by the clever use of two words: inevitability and discrimination. And when they say their 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 side is inevitable, and if you're against them, you are discriminated. Uh, that's that's really what has gave them the start. Now you apply that to free trade. Now the only thing that's free about free trade is what China can do for free. There isn't anything free about it for the United States. Uh, it's a it's a big cheat. It should be called one sided screw job trade. Right, you're right. And yeah, we need to make sure we don't fall for these words that are trying to manipulate our thinking. Well said. Uh, what about Hillary's brazen getting money from third world dictators, the State Department, to her foundation to then sell them weapons? Uh, and, and they're just brushing it off. And now her plan that you break down to stop the ballot box. Well, of course, she's all for bringing in um, more immigrants from other countries. And these immigrants who come in have no comprehension of limited government and of the way our Constitution sets up the freedom in our land. And uh, so they're going to come in and expect the government to take care of them. And this government starts giving them welfare benefits of all kinds. So they'll vote Democratic. I think it's a matter of votes. I, I think a lot of the big business, the lobbyists, uh, want the cheap, uh, low-paid workers for their businesses. And uh, Hillary and the Democrats uh, want Democratic votes in the ballot box. That's what it's all about. Well, sure. CNN calls it birth tourism and says Chinese mothers by the thousands a week come to the U.S. to have their babies for free. There's the yeah. headline, why Chinese moms want American babies. And they just say it like it's reasonable and cute when you can't go anywhere else in the world and get this. This is a joke. And now Chinese have surpassed Mexicans as the number one group pouring in. There's a billion, 300 million of them. This is suicide. Yes, it is suicide. 
and uh, we we have an exceptional, wonderful country here, and it's up to us to do it. And I I urge everybody to be involved in politics. You can't just uh, pray and expect the Lord to do it. Uh, it's not his. That's not his job. It's our job to make use of the uh, the political elements in our society to kick the bad guys out and get the good guys in. Why are the bad guys so destructive? I mean, they're in control. What they're doing will destroy their power base and, and will end up destroying their own nest. Is it just an instinct to overrun everything, a criminal instinct? What is it? Well, I think it's the, uh, they think they're going to make money out of it. And they think, uh, but it's a short term uh, look at, at the raising of that money because uh, even though they may get some cheap labor for a while, uh, they still are destroying our system. And it's our system that has enabled them to become uh, rich and successful. Yeah, 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 it'd be like if I went home and killed my parents just so I could say I was dominant when they're the ones that had me, brought me up, took care of me. It just makes, it's just, it, it, it's so self-destructive. Yes, it is. And, and when Dan Sessions said that these trade agreements that Obama signed on to, that they're putting all the pressure on to try to make Congress pass, uh, that they, uh, uh, they, they simply are... Uh, Really, they're taking away our sovereignty. Uh, they're taking away our wealth. They're uh, they're just changing our country. Well, as Obama said it best, he wanted to fundamentally transform it. We're being conquered. Right. Phyllis Schlafly, uh, your book is now back in print, updated, a choice, not an echo. It's really updated because the, the recent years are really very interesting, and nobody's told the story of how the kingmakers are still... It's amazing. Around. Eagleforum.org. Thank you for the time. Have a great week. You're an icon. Thank you. Bye. An amazing lady. Most folks don't know how important she is or how great she is. If it wasn't for her and Barry Goldwater, we'd be done.